Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball. A double header break, two hobby cases, 24 boxes, and each box gets a silver pack as well. And that's where the short prints are. This is random team break number five. I just realized that this is our last two boxes of Topps Chrome Hobby. So thanks everyone for, uh, for making this happen. I appreciate it. Especially everyone here. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats to the people who won their spots in the Topps Chrome Jumbo Packs 10 and 11. Scott, last bot mojo. Thank you. All 30 baseball teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Names and teams five and a four, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once more, ninth and final time. After nine, we got Matthew down to Eric. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got the Metropolitans down to the Minnesota Twins. All right, so Matthew with the Mets, Chad with the Red Sox, Jeff with the Cubs, Scott with the Phillies, Rick with the Yankees, John with the Astros, Sean with the Guardians, Nestor with the Rockies, Will with the Reds, Nestor with the Rangers, Jose, you got the Tigers, Scott, Last Spot Mojo, White Sox, Michael with the Mariners, Brent with the Angels, Richard with the Giants, Franklin with the Orioles, Brian with the Pirates, Stephen with the Diamondbacks, Michael with the Dodgers, Kevin with the A's, Michael with the Marlins, Richard with the Brew Crew, Stephen P., with the Blue Jays and the Rays, Brandon with the Cardinals, Nicholas with the Nats, Jose with the Braves, Michael with the Royals, Chris with the Padres, and Eric with the Minnesota Twins. Let's sort by uh, alphabetically by team. And we're gonna pause the video just for a moment. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done in the doubleheader. We got some uh, some Halloween decorations back there, getting festive. Big thanks to everyone here on a Monday, the 17th, for making this happen. Random team break number five. Scott with that last spot mojo, closing things down. People winning teams and fillers. People buying their random team spots straight up. However you did it, I appreciate you getting in. Thank you. It's dual case break, so hang in there, settle in. Let's. Uh, you, kind of, you can still see this on, the, on my face camera. All right, so we'll keep those boxes behind me here. I'll stack it on the other, other case so you can see it. Um, let's see if we can take this out of inventory here. Your inventory, can you scan the UPC code? No, maybe on this? Subtract 24 boxes out of inventory. All right, good luck, gang. Box one of 24. Now, I wish there was some baseball to talk about, but game five of the ALDS is in a rain delay. Boo. They've got some, they've, they've got some game show on instead of the game, right? Let's flip back over there really quick. It's on some sort of uh, commercial, yeah. So I guess we'll have to watch this Broncos Chargers game here. Now Terry, Terry, we're watching the Monday Night Football game and Terry's fantasy football opponent this week 
of course, has Jerry Judy. I think Terry's leading, and, and of course, it would take some Jerry Judy to, uh, to win this week. And Terry's like, he's going to have a record day against me. A four-touchdown day. What's the record? I know this is a baseball break, but since so long, we'll, we'll eventually start getting to a lot of different topics. But what is the record for receiving touchdowns? I don't think I know the answer to that. I don't even know what the, how many it would be. Four? Five? It can't be more than five. I mean, there's only so many. I guess I have to think about quarterbacks who've thrown a lot of touchdowns. I think the, that record is six or seven passing touchdowns. And I'll have to look that up in a little bit. End of the first, uh, Broncos leading 10-0 on the Chargers in Los Angeles. A 51-yard Brandon McManus field goal and a and a uh, Russell Wilson touchdown pass to Greg Dulcich. Tight end, maybe? Not the tight end that I thought would uh, would score a touchdown. I'm on the Broncos, plus four and a half. So far, so good. Gilo looked it up. Thanks, Gilo. Gabe saying five TDs is the record. Jerry Rice, Kellen Winslow Sr., and Bob Shaw. Wow, a very short list. All right, good luck, everybody. And our first autograph is Jake Berger. Mm, that is a delicious burger. What, what was that line in Pulp Fiction? Was it what? A Kahuna burger, maybe? No, it's two autos a box, right? On average? Two a box on average. Trey Auburn J to 99. Number of people have four, including Kelsey last week. Come on, Gilo. That's, that, that's, that's, that's in the past. That's old news. That was like two weeks ago. Or was it last week? That's, 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 that's in the past. There's Reed Detmers, 258 out of 350. Magenta Speckle. And there's your Edward Cabrera autograph. He's... I feel like he's usually a redemption, but there he is in a, a live autograph in here. Michael Losia and the Marlins. Purple Chrome Auto, 126 out of 250. I will do an autograph recap at the, uh, at the end of the 24 boxes after the second hobby case. We'll do one big randomizer there. Randomizer? Recap. That's why that's why I went I went Denver plus four and a half. Because of that guy. He's gonna cover Mike Williams. We don't have Keenan Allen. <laughs> Big kahuna burgers, Harry, that's right. Yeah, Joe Pizzle, I'll give you an explanation. This year, I think they just flat out, they just choked. That's it. You know, like I think, no, I don't, yeah, thanks. I appreciate Gilo. 
for looking out for my feelings. It's it's day like two. It's, every, each day it's getting better and better. So I, I think I'm okay to talk about it. Uh, they just flat out choke. I think previous year, yeah, that's most years, but I don't know. There's all you can make reasons for for other years. The, this year was just was just a straight up. You know, bats one, two, and three were cold for a majority of the series. Bats seven, eight, and nine were black holes. You know. Usually I could say, I could say, oh, well, the Dodgers played hard, but they just, you know, uh, other teams just got some runs here and there, but hey, I'm proud of the Dodgers, blah, blah, blah. I, you know, I could say it's this and that. Like, I could say that in previous years, you know. Like, listen, they battled, but just didn't work out. That's playoffs. Playoff baseball, that happens. But this was just different. This felt a lot different, and it was a lot different. They just kind of, there, was, there wasn't a lot of heart, a lot of fire that wasn't really there. I think, you know, and these aren't excuses, but they just weren't battle-tested. You know, the Padres had to grind to get a playoff spot. They had to grind to beat two good pitchers. Well, they beat Max Scherzer, but, but they had to grind in a, in a tough three-game series. And so they were a little more battle-tested. And I, it just seems like the Dodgers thought that they can just turn on a switch and then it'd be back to the regular season again. Maybe they, I don't know, maybe a part of them underestimated the Padres a little bit. But I think mostly r runners in scoring position, that's the big number. After their, after like Trey Turner's home run in game one or something like that, they won that game, but after the run scored in game one, they were one for like almost 30 with runners in scoring position. That's everybody. You know, that's everybody not, not putting in work, you know, not passing the baton or not getting the timely hits. It's Josh Lowe, Magenta Speckle to 350. You know, so 87 out of 199. John Means for the Orioles. That'll be for Frank, Franklin. So, I mean, that's what it is. You know, you win 111 games. They, they kind of went into cruise control a little bit. They didn't really address a lot of issues. You know, they didn't, I mean, Craig, they knew what they had in Craig Kimbrell, but they let Josh Hader go to the Padres. They knew, for example, Walker Buehler went down in June. They let, ooh, some red. Walker Buehler went down in June, and they didn't address the starting pitching issue. They let Luis Castillo go to Seattle. And look at this. Here's Zach Plesak of your playoff Cleveland Guardians. We're in a rain delay right now. Three out of five. And that is for a little color match too. Sean Maddock getting randomized. Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Wait, was there only one auto in there? I guess, I guess just one big auto. On average is what it says on the box, but there you go. All right, next box. Well, I mean, listen, it's, it's, I know it's a, it's a subtle difference. A loss is a loss, but, um, but uh, it's the way they lost, which is disappointing. Like I said, if the, if they if they were battling, if they were grinding, and if leads were being changed back and forth, and they just lost, I mean, you know, it's baseball, and they just and they lost. That's fine. I mean, I, I I'm st I'd still be sad, but I could definitely live with it. Um, you know, it's just sports, right? And at the end of the day. But the way they lost. 
that's that's where it, that's where I appreciate it, Joe. Thanks for being a good sport about it. But but yeah, it's the way they lost. I think is really is really what I think has everyone stunned in LA. I mean, I'm listening to sports talk radio on the way here. This is the first Monday after after that loss, and all the sports talk radio hosts are just. It's just a feeling of just being stunned. Oh, I see, I see. So that base card probably got shipped with the other. Got it. Oh, I see what happened. Just blame the refs? No, I'm not a blame the refs or blame the umps kind of guy. That's not my thing. I'll let other people do that. El Canon, what's going on? Well, uh, aside from all of my my sports teams being terrible, I mean, it's pr life is pretty good. <laughs> right? Yeah. Joe's saying the one thing that always kills me is not that my team lose and won't be involved in a title. It's just right the feeling of how long you have to wait for next season for them to try again. Well, that that's the other thing. It's just it's a it's a long winter. At least it feels like. It's really just November, December, January. It's like three or four months. But it feels longer though. Especially when the when it's through a winter cycle. It feels a lot longer. Alright, there's Walker Bueller. Piece of his jersey. They should have addressed this issue, but although Tyler Anderson pitched admirably. Uh, that goes to Michael and the Dodgers. It's Corbin Burns to 99. <laughs> El Cano and Josh is saying that's, wor that's worse than being a Rockies fan, not having any chance at all. That's true. No, I'm proud of the season that the, that the Dodgers had just not happy with the way, it, and they're not happy either, <laughs> I'm sure. Now, Dodgers need a little grit. They may need some, they may need like a, like a Kirk Gibson type player. Here's Francisco Perez. Nationals autograph for Nicholas S. You know, they, they need like some glue guys, you know, just some high energy glue guys. You know, in years past, it was like Kike Hernandez or Jock Peterson kind of providing that Night, that spark. All right, see you, Michael. Have a good one, man. So, I mean, maybe somebody like that. You know, like like a fiery closer. That that always like an Edwin Diaz gets people excited. You know what I mean? Just the anticipation of that. There's Eloy Jimenez, Magenta for Scott and the White Sox. So there's that. I mean, just a little too quiet for Max Muncy. I know he's coming back from some elbow injury. Not a lot of grit coming from Trey Turner. Some defensive mislaps. Mislaps? <laughs> Lapses. Mishaps or lapses from him. Or mislaps. So you put all those little things together and there you go. There's Luke Voigt. Yankees. Rick T with the Yankees. And anyone have any idea? Anyone have any idea when uh, the Yankees game is supposed to start? Anyone keeping track of that? Right. Or Paul Millsap play, plays basketball. Right. Gilo is saying, Casey only has baseball and football. Nothing gets us through the winter except football once a week. Long off seasons, yeah. Yeah, Diamondbacks got one in the early 2000s. Your uncle played for the Diamondbacks. Who's, who's your uncle?
Oh, nice. Your uncle's Matt Williams. Uh, former former giant, also Matt Williams. Did he did he manage the Diamondbacks for a little bit too? I feel like he managed a little bit after after his playing days. I'm assuming it's that that Matt Williams, right? Yeah, managed the Nats. That's what it was. He had a, if I remember correctly, El Canon. He had a he had a batting stance where he kind of rubbed his chin or something like that on his shoulder on his sleeve. Is that correct? I feel like he kind of had that sort of uh, that sort of stance. Later, Jeff. Hey, see you, Joan. How's it going, man? Yeah, I was gonna say I feel like he had a he had a few good a few good peak years on those uh, on those Giants teams. Yeah, right where he kind of kind of it wasn't really a st it's just like a little motion a little tick in a way. A lot of ball players have their little uh, little ticks like like Nomar's like you know wrist glove thing batting glove stuff. We got Mason Jar Thompson for Nicholas S. and the Nationals. Is Matt Williams a World Series champ? Uncle through, oh, uncle through marriage. Still, still, still uncle. Still family. What's, uh, what's Matt, ooh. Shane Boss, rookie autograph, gold wave parallel should be to fifty ish. This goes to Stephen P. and the Rays won that team in the filler. Oh, well, he was on that 01 Diamondbacks team. What's Matt Williams doing these days? Matt's managing Korea. Nice. What team is he managing? Maybe the the Lotte Giants? May, perhaps the uh, perhaps the OB Bears? There's Steven Strasburg, 22 out of 99. Those are the only two Korean baseball teams I know. Uh, Videl Bruhan, we've got a lot of family in this hole. I don't know what baseball team or, or soccer team for that matter, club team that our families are supposed to support. 14 out of 399. Videl Bruhan Magenta for Stephen P and the Rays. Oh, Kia Tigers, but he might be back soon. Uh, funny thing. If you're thinking, aren't those all all brands? Uh, yes. For somehow professional baseball, they're all owned by the major conglomerates out in uh, out in Korea. So Kia is yes the car company that owns the Tigers. I don't know if if Ob is, Ob is a beer company, but I don't know if they still own the Bear Ob Bears. I think Lotte is a company. I think they still own. Pretty sure Hyundai and Samsung also have. And LG. They must all have, I think they all have professional baseball teams. Rohit, what's going on? I think one team, I don't think the, the I don't think the KBO gives away the sword, Gilo, but I want to say one team uh, did win it and their ownership provided them with a sword. I want to say the owner of that baseball team is maybe a video game company. And that sword may be a, a sword in the game. And then they, uh, and then they, I think they, they gave him a, a, 
they gave the team a massive sword as a as an additional reward for winning the league. Something like that. I gotta look that story up, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So, it would be like, I don't know, what would the equivalent be in America? It, it would be like if, if Gilo, if, uh, if Blizzard, Activision, was your main sponsor for the Kansas City Royals, and next time they win a World Series, uh, they'll be like, hey, here's a badass sword from like Diablo or whatever game they have there. Uh, and we'll give you a replica that you could put in your clubhouse or something like that. It'll be about eight feet. <laughs> oh, Matt, Matt Williams is back, actually. He's, he's the third base coach for the San Diego Baseball Padres. There you go. Right, sure, World of Warcraft. Here's, yeah, here's like the, here's like, I don't know if what the rare weapons are, but here's a rare weapon sword, and we'll do that or something like that. Which would, I, would be kind of cool. All right, another box of many. All those wanders will go to Stephen P. There's Ivan Castillo, speaking of the Padres. Rookie auto for the Friars. Chris Walker with the Padres. I think that NLCS starts in a couple days or so. Blake Snell, 154 out of 299, purple speckle. And we got uh, Jake Myers, rookie autograph for the Astros. John with the Strohs, John R. 209 out of 499. Another two autos down, another box. Oh, we are, after this box, we're halfway through the first case. I think we're right on schedule. Yeah, each half case, yeah, it's a two hour break. 30 minutes, about 30 ish minutes for each half. About a little over two hours total going solo on this. And once again, we'll do an autograph recap, or actually, in, in any, you know, if there's like a card like 10 or under or something like that, we'll throw that into the top load pile as well and then and we'll do a recap at the end of, oh and after the silver packs too we'll do recaps Monday Night Football game three minutes left in the first half Broncos up 10-7 who scored the oh Austin Eckler had a six yard rushing touchdown that's capping a 15 play, 82 yard, seven minute and 40 second drive. Now they got the ball again. Oh, El Canon got an order of light, chrome light. The black and white mini diamond parallels are pretty cool. If the Chargers win this one, they'll, they'll improve to four and two tying them for first place with uh, Kansas City. That'll drop Denver to two and four. My Raiders on a bye this week, so hopefully they're working on things. Wander Franco doing that's that's a variation right there. Nice. Thankfully they flipped those around. That's for Stephen P. Got
Got randomized. The Rays won that spot in the filler. That's right, Gila. At least the Raiders didn't lose this weekend. Uh, I get. I guess. I guess the LA Galaxy, Major League Soccer's in their playoffs. They're, they won their first round playoff matchup, although they they face a pretty tough challenge in LAFC, their crosstown rival. They're facing them in a playoff game on our Thursday night, Thursday night sports equinox night, Chilo. Watch the Galaxy lose like 5 mil. Just more sadness for Joe's sports teams. We got Markles Ditlon. Franklin with the Orioles. Connor Wong, Blue Lava autograph for Chad Wright and the Red Sox. Won that team in the filler. Or won the spot in the filler and then got randomized the Red Sox and ends up with this autograph. 132 out of 150. I like the Lava parallels. Those look pretty sharp. All right. Second half. Wong Gong Gonzalez, like Juan Juan Gong. Any relation to Colton Wong? There can't be too many. And he was born in Texas. There can't be too many Wongs in baseball, right? He was born in Houston. Actually, a Dodger for a little bit. No, it does. Yeah, it does not say that he any has any relation to Colton Wong. Colton Wong is from Hawaii. No relation. They do not. No. <laughs> Gee, look at tip your uh, tip your waitresses, tip your bartenders. Try the veal. J.K. Scott has not attempted an NFL. I feel like the Chargers are always having kicker issues. What's wrong with their kicker today? Apparently, this J.K. Scott guy is warming up, swinging the old the old leg around. First down for the Chargers. What would the the is the backup quarterback the easiest 
job in the NFL in terms of just like there's no stress you just you just have to be in the QB room maybe help out at practice there's Brandon Lowe for the Rays that'll be for Stephen P 45 out of 150 and backup quarterbacks tend to get a decent paycheck for not doing all that much QB1 gets injured, there's really no pressure. You can just sling it around a little bit or hand the ball off a few times. Bills are, is saying, I opened one pack of tops and pulled a Padres to 2022. Maybe it's their year. There's Helio Ramos for the Giants. Richard for the Giants. Gabe was thinking the other day of dual threat players that aren't QBs. What are do who are other dual threat players that are not quarterbacks? The chief safety can also kick in a pinch. There's Max Muncie purple to two fifty. Yeah, you can put him on kickoffs, and then he could he can get into coverage and just blow someone up. I can't really think of any other. Maybe Quarter L. Patterson, Debo Samuel. Those are kind of like running back, wide receiver hybrids. I wonder if that's going to be more of a thing as as time goes on. You know, you have your you have like guys like Austin Eckler more. Versatile running backs. Maybe maybe the days of the, you know, between the gaps kind of running back may, may not be as as uh, as common. Or at least not as not as like bell cow backs. You'll we'll have the. You'll have the occasional Derrick Henrys of the world. So here is, oh, and there's Dustin Hopkins. I don't know why this other guy was warming up his leg. Dustin Hoffman, not Hopkins, not Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> no, it's kind of like a, a knuckler. All right, well, Chargers make the field goal. They tie it up, giving Russell Wills this dangerous with 53 seconds. Dangerous, uh, dangerous of old. Could make some things happen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we only have a few orders coming in here. This is right now while I'm doing this long break because we've got another case of this to go. Still have more boxes of this to go, but with a with with this long break happening now, I know if you're not in this break, you know it's not super exciting, but right now is the perfect time to get into um, is the perfect time to get into the other break credit breaks. Because we're down to our last few breaks, plus their related fillers. But we need some help. If we want to get that break credit done tonight. If, if I mean, if you don't want to win break credit, I suppose that's fine. 
We want to give away the money, though. There's Matt Manning, gold waved to 250. And there's Ryan Vallad for the Rockies. Nestor with Colorado gets the rookie auto. Anyone have any word on the uh, the baseball game? Let's flip back to TBS. And I see a commercial. If it does that help the the Guardians? Could they run Shane Bieber out there if I think I'd still be on short rest? But they could they, could they run him out there if they if tonight's game is pushed to tomorrow? Where does Clayton Kershaw end up? And there's Zach Lothar, Orioles. Kershaw's a free agent. He only signed a one-year deal. He's a free agent after this season. Franklin with the Orioles. And there's Hugh Darvish. A photo negative parallel for a variation for Chris Walker and the Padres. I think he said he feels good about. I think he feels like he can throw pitch another season, but where is the uh, is the issue? A lot of people on Twitter. Thanks, Gilo, for the research. A lot of people on Twitter complaining because there are no updates about the game. Huh? Usually, teams or the network is usually pretty good about. Hey, umpires are talking about it. They're going to reevaluate. They're going to look at it again at X time, you know. Now it's back to Dwayne Wade's game show, so let's go back to Broncos Chargers, which is probably going to be in halftime soon. So the Broncos have 50 seconds to try to do something, and they also get the second half kickoff. So if they could get like a field goal here, come back and get the ball again, That'll help my Denver plus four and a half. Jerry Judy wide open. No flags. No timeouts either. You got to spike it or, or run a play. There's 36 seconds left. Wow. Sorry, Terry. I got him to the 30. Another pass out of bounds. Another 10 yard, nine, 10 yards. Stops the clock. They're in the red zone. They're on the 20. Inside the 20. Chargers calling a timeout. I thought that was going to be a touchdown. <laughs> You know, they, they do get the ball in the second half. Yeah, I guess Russ, Russ is, uh, I think we looked it up, a, the Leticius Dorsey, the, the big wing-like muscle on, on, on your back there, had a, apparently had a small procedure there and then a, some sort of shot, cortisone shot or something like that. But now we're now Gilo's thinking maybe maybe he got some sort of robotic arm implanted in there. Is that acceptable in the NFL? Can you have robot parts? Should that be allowed? We got an aqua wave. Trey Auberge, 199 out of 199. Reds will be for Will in the red legs.
No, I don't think he got ringworm. We're just speculating what that injection was that he got four, day, four or five days ago. Ooh, is that a roughing the passer call? I don't think you can grab by the legs like that anymore. Jeff Thompson with the Cubs gets the Greg Diegman. How long before quarterbacks just have like flag football flags draped on their hips? There's Tyler Gilbert, Magenta, to 3.99. Diamondback, Steven. And we've got a Colton Welker, Aqua Wave Autograph, 56 out of 199. Rockies, Nestor. Third and goal, seven seconds left. Clock stopping on the uh, incomplete pass. Can you run? Is it possible to run another play? In another passing play in seven seconds? And well, they give him eight seconds. They adjust the clock. I mean, at this, this stage of the red zone, should be able to. I'm going to pass it. Ooh, off the hands of number 80. Is that Albert Okuebanum? No, that's that's Dulcich. Guess I'll have to sell for a field goal. Well, that, that third and that second and goal play should have been that touchdown. I think they're going to replay this right now. Or no, maybe not. Be automatic for McManus. Yeah, gets it in there, curls it in there a little bit. A little curveball, a little slider. Time. Um, I don't know if this, it's getting pretty late in New York. It's already 9:37 on the East Coast. Are they really going to start this game? Jeremy, what's going on? How are you? Good evening. I mean, even if they start the game like right now, 9.40, pretty late. We got Adolis Garcia, Aqua Wave, 40 out of 199 for Texas. That'll be for Nestor. Why is the Yankees game delayed? Um, rain, weather, the usual reason why it's delayed. Reed Detmers, unless there's like a, a zombie attack that I don't know about. Angels, that'll be for Brent and the Halos.
Big release on Wednesday and Friday, Jeremy. We've got a lot of new releases. Top Sterling Baseball, you can pre-order now. Drops on Wednesday. That should be pretty nice. 2022 Certified Football drops on Wednesday. Panini National Treasures FIFA Road to the World Cup drops on Wednesday. And either on this channel or our personal breaks channel on Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks, should have impeccable WWE. And then on Friday, Spectra Basketball. On Friday, Panini 3-2 and two Baseball. Unless they push those back. And on Friday, 2022 Tops Luminaries Baseball. Ooh, what a week. And what a hit. Paul Goldschmidt. He might be your MVP this year for the NL. 93 out of 99 Club Plaques Autograph. All right, next box. Two more boxes in this case. Cardboard has certified listed for Friday. Maybe they just maybe they just changed that. Aha, uh -huh, I'll update that. Yeah, certified is I, I'm looking at blowout as well. They have a good new release calendar that has so certified has been pushed to the 21st. But either way, big new release week. Pre-orders for most of those products I listed off are up right now. We got pre-orders for Spectra up. We got pre-orders for Certified up. We got pre-orders for Sterling up. And keep your eye out for these pre-orders for the other ones. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Oh, so Gilo reporting they called it. <laughs> it must be Terry. They called it. ALDS postponed till tomorrow. So who does that? Does that help? That's got to help the Guardians, I would think. They had to travel from Cleveland to New York. They get an extra night to rest. Maybe be able to get some other, uh, I don't know, an extra day of rest for maybe some of their top pitchers. Maybe Shane Bieber. Maybe put in some work. Now I know I realize that I recognize that Chris Berman earned his way to this uh, this position in his career, but it'd be nice to just uh, I mean if this is his retirement, that's not bad. Just to just to do some halftime highlights once a week. Second to last box of the first case, and then one more case. Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling. Back, 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 back. There's Connor Wong for Chad Wright and the Red Sox. And a Chaz McCormick. Whoop. Although he doesn't say back, 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 back in the football highlights. Back, 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 and gone. There's 
There's Harrison Bader, 85 out of 299. Cardinals. Brandon with the Red Birds. Purple Speckled. What do I think of Justin Herbert? I think he is the real deal. Ryan Mountcastle, purple chrome autograph for Franklin and the Orioles. Sixty-three out of two fifty. And an O'Neill Cruz refractor for the Pirates. That'll be for Brian. But I think I think a lot of people, you know, you know, imagine if Justin Herbert wasn't on the Chargers. I mean, his his value in the secondary market for the hobby, anyway, might might be even bigger. And I mean. NFL is, I mean, it's, it's obvious to say, but it's such a such a team sport that he could be a real, he could be the real deal. But you know, if the Chargers don't don't continue to to spend and improve around him, then he just might be that just might be a waste. It's Phil Rivers. Jeremy rarely watches Monday Night Football. You just like Buck and Aikman and hate all the political ads. Yeah, it's political ad season. I think that's on every year. Um, there is the Manning cast, Jeremy. Most most of these Monday Night Football games has the Manning cast. That's a lot more, a lot more entertaining to watch. And you just change the channel when the ads come on. I don't mind Joe Buck doing football. I, I not a fan of him doing baseball. But now he's not doing baseball anymore, so it works out for me. Terry saying, uh, Justin Herbert, Philip Rivers, 2.0, part two. Going to pick up a ton of stats, but not really do too much. Oh, there's no Manning cast this week. Okay, so. Yeah, watch it on mute. Watch Jaspies, Jeremy. I've got the game on mute right here. Game on mute. Watch us. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean that that's well that's the fun of collecting El Canon. El Canon saying, listen, I mean there's a lot of questions regarding all the young quarterbacks. You know? Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Tua, Mac Jones, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, so on and so forth. There's Jesus Lazardo, Blue Wave to 75. That's from Miami. That'll be for Michael L. But yeah, that, that's what makes the, just not even for the hobby, that just makes the NFL fun to watch. And here is Whit Merrifield, Purple, uh, purple Speckle, 002 to 299 for the Royals. Well, it's also for Michael. Same Michael. So half the fun is just kind of testing your your knowledge and luck to see uh, you know which players are going to be you know the ones to collect long term, which ones just who are just flashes in the pan. It's tough because a lot of it, again, it's because it's such a team sport. A lot of it will depend on you know what team they're on, what market they're in, you know how the team supports these quarterbacks with weapons, with offensive line, with a, with a decent defense that can help them win games. But yeah, it's exciting to see. It's what makes the NFL so great, week to week. And there's our second auto, Colton Welker for the Rockies. That'll be for Nestor.
All right, gang. 12 boxes down, another 12 to go. It's a double header. Let's play two, as Arnie Banks would say. Now, if you're watching live, we don't have any more hobby cases. We may have some personal hobby boxes on uh, on uh, our Instagram channel, at Jaspies Breaks. But we don't have any more after that, or any more hobby case breaks. Not, in, I mean, unless we get more cases, but. But we do have some more jumbo cases. So right now, we, I think we currently have a single case um, top Chrome Baseball Jumbo Pick Your Team break if you want to get into that. Each box has uh, five autographs and then a silver pack per box. Mike Tower saying, when you're talking NFL, you thought, you thought I was going to say not for long, seeing how a player may be great hitting the rookie year and then become more hype than production. That have, yeah, that. That's the thing. There, there's like there's like different layers, or I guess what do they call it in like finance? Like different time horizons. If you're if you're in your 60s or 70s, your your time horizon for investing in the markets may be a lot shorter than someone in their teens or early 20s. And I think it's similar with the hobby, different time horizons, right? You might, you may be a collector that just wants to, wants to get into some breaks just for fun, and then flip really quick for the, for the, uh, for the short term hype and profit, which a lot of people did with say, Luka Doncic and succeeded for basketball collectors. But the ones who held on to Luka Doncic a little bit longer may have may have uh, gotten a little more. And if you ride out his career, the ups and downs of, of the natural ups and downs of his career, I mean, he could be one of the greatest by the time everything's said and done. So yeah, just depending on what your acceptable level of risk is, what your time horizon is, but that's what makes it fun. There's no really no right or wrong way to, to collect. Jeremy saying, congrats. After six weeks, six and zero oh in your church league, average margin of victory thirty four points. Hmm. Maybe uh, maybe your fellow churchgoers, Jeremy. Maybe they're just not good at fantasy football. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're just in the easy league. Yeah, NBA. I I I, I feel like. I, I feel like it's a good time to buy Zion if, if those prices are down. But those can those can have some pretty wild swings, like a like a tech stock, like a growth stock, could be some wild wild ups and downs. Oh yeah, you're about to take down Gelo is about to take down the number one guy in his league. Thanks to Eckler and Jerry Judy. There's Tyler Glass now, orange, 19 out of 25 for the Rays. That's going to be for Stephen P. And there's our next, uh, or, or yeah, our first autograph of the box, Ronzi Contreras, Pirates. It's for Brian M. Wow, you found a Luka Doncic rookie floor general's dazzle in a box of yours. Send it in. Got a PSA 10. That's not too bad. Gilo likes baseball because it's like investing in stocks. Basketball to flip pretty fast. Although there are some long-term opportunities for basketball as well. Nice hyper parallel Wander Franco. Not numbered, but still nice for Stephen P and the Rays. But, I mean... That's, that's, that's just the great thing about collecting. I think there's different types of collectors for baseball. You know, it requires a little more patience, I think. Um, 
And, you know, there's a different type of person who collects football only or basketball or hockey or soccer. That's what makes the hobby fun. People all have all their, their own opinions about what's best to collect and why. I think there could be pros and cons and counters for... Uh, and there's Trevor Rogers, our second autograph for, for everything, but that's what makes it fun. Michael with the Marlins. Yeah, Acuna needs to try to try to stay healthy from here on out. String together a few, you know, potentially MVP caliber seasons. Maybe knock one of those out. That'd be that'd be good for the hobby. Yeah, Alonzo stuff. Why is that? I'm, I'm wondering why the Alonzo market's a little soft. I feel like you can buy that. Hold on to that. And if he knocks out a sort of Aaron Judgey sort of season, and if the Mets can kind of make their way deep into the playoffs. Yeah, the Jordan prices were pretty low too before, before the playoffs. And that's how quick it could change, especially in the playoffs. Oh, Alonzo stuff picks up in the winter because he's he's the polar bear, right? Although, don't... Wait, do polar bears hibernate? If there's a, if there's a zoologist out there who specializes in arctic animals, let me know. Behind Zach Wheeler is MJ Melendez. This could be the future. It's a rookie auto. This could be the future of the Royals catching position. Michael Losia with the Royals. 41 to 150. Nice. Good research, Terry. From Google, the polar bear eats seals that it can hunt on the ice throughout the year. So has the polar bear has no need to hibernate. There you go. There's Mookie Betts, 240 out of 399. Bat hibernating in the playoffs. I guess even for even from the uh, even from the Brooklyn days, when the Dodgers were affectionately known as them bums, the uh, the refrain was always <laughs> the refrain was always wait till next year. Although they were a wildly popular team in Brooklyn, and when they finally did win one, the team moved. There's Tim Anderson, 103 out of 150. Scott with the White Sox. And Jose Siri. I guess he signs all of them like this. I saw one card that was signed like this. I think he signed all of them like that. He maybe should be going across this way, but... John with the Astros. I 
That's right, Terry. I remember those days fondly. No, not fondly, but I remember those days listening on the on the wireless. Where the Yankees pretty much dominated the Dodgers up until like the mid 1950s. Those were the days, Terry, when all the baseball games were in the afternoon, <laughs> on the old radio, Red Barber calling the games, old, old Red Barber calling games and collecting, uh, you know, I in, at home I would, uh, I would listen to the ball game and score the game and then tell, tell my dad about it when he... Came home from work. Riding the trolleys, playing playing the playing the stick ball in the streets, avoiding the cars. <laughs> singing singing in a doo wop band, a doo wop group, singing group. Singing songs underneath the, the street lamp and fight, fighting other local hoods. Being an actual trolley dodger, right? One year, a lot of, a lot of the guys got married in the same year. And they were the Brooklyn gri bridegrooms for, for a little bit. A barbershop quartet. doo was the 60s. Barbershop quartet, right. Yeah, that that that's a that's a thing. Back in the day, yeah, people would go to Dodgers games and then they'd they'd have a little transistor radio and listen to Vin Scully call the game on their portable radios. While watching the game live, 63 I 75, Reese Hoskins. And, um, and, and a little nice little color match here Trey Mancini orange for Franklin and the Orioles. That's a 25. Five out of 25. Reese Hoskins, we'll see him uh, in a couple days. That's for uh, Scott and the Phillies. to face these guys in San Diego. I'm, uh, I wanna say that back in the day, Dodger Stadium transistor radio giveaway nights were, were, uh, were pretty big. They would do that almost once a year for a couple decades. Now you can listen on listen to the radio on your phone, so it doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> There's Zach Schwartz. The radio stations would uh, I remember the radio stations would sometimes would give away like a little transistor radio. There's Zach Short for the Tigers for Jose. Um, where it was only the like the it was like a crappy little radio. Um, and it would only tune to that particular station, I want to say. They have, they did windbreakers for, for a long time. The fleece blanket, always a popular promo. They still do the fleece blanket. Do they still do the fleece blanket? The fleece blanket, I feel like, is a pretty popular promo. It can get uh, it can get a little chilly at Dodger Stadium, even in the summertime.
Oh, that's an that's an infamous game, isn't it, Terry? The game against the Cardinals where they gave away baseballs. And I think there was was there was that against the Cardinals? I thought it was a Cubs game. Maybe it was Cardinals. And there was some sort of fight or argument on the field and or the umpires did something and they, they threw baseballs on the field. I don't think there was ever a baseball promo. At least for probably a decade. I don't I don't think they, they had a baseball promo after that. I mean, they might they still might not have. Another box. There's Jordan Alvarez. He's been crushing the baseball. I don't think I don't think Jordan Alvarez is welcome. Probably in any part of the Pacific Northwest. There's Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. That's going to be for Eric. Chris McKenzie, 50 out of 50, gold wave for Cleveland. Sean Maddock with the Guardians. They canceled that game five of the ALDS. They'll be playing that tomorrow. So, uh, d does this, who, interesting. So the Yankees have already named a starter, at least according to ESPN's schedule page. Here's John Means with uh, the Orioles, Franklin. They, they're putting Nestor Cortez on the mound. They originally had Jameson Tyon on the mound. Um, here's Brian Dela Cruz, Aqua Wave autograph for the fish. Good looking card going to Michael in Miami. Um, Nestor Cortez, an upgrade over Jameson Tyon. Undecided for Cleveland, 172 out of 199. Does this help the Yanks? They can roll Nestor Cortez out of there. I need a, I, oh, that's a, it's quite a cut on that Ryan McMahon. <laughs> um, another box down here, and then we got the other half right over there. Am I doing silver packs for each box I open? Yes, Christian, that's what it says in the description and the title. <laughs> Justin, it does, it does kind of look like a... Uh, it does kind of look like an LSU Christmas tree in the back. I think it's a Halloween Christmas tree. Maybe a sort of a nightmare before Christmas kind of thing. We are on box five of case two. We've got about another 40 minutes. We're at the hour 20 minute mark right now. And it should take me just a, a smidge over two hours.
And I'll do an autograph recap, of course, at the end. Or the silver packs first, then the autograph recap. boxes are right behind me as well. That's how many we have left. All right, good luck. We got Luke Williams. Use the force, Luke. No, I am your father. And the second autograph, Connor Seabold for Boston. That's Chad Wright and the Red Sox. Six minutes left in the third. Third and nine for the Denver Broncos. They're tied 13-13 with the Bolts, with the Chargers. No baseball tonight. So that means two games tomorrow, right? So the game five of the ALDS, the division series, on at one o'clock. Is this my time, Pacific time? Yeah, one o seven Pacific, four o seven Eastern. So that'll be the early game. So I guess well, the game will be in progress uh, by the time we start our live stream here. And then the first game of the NLCS, the championship series, will be on FS1. 5.03 LA time, 8.03 East Coast time. That might be a little bit of a later one for the East Coasters, but hey, I'll be on the live stream. We'll have the game on in the background and we'll watch together and talk about the game together and probably, probably be breaking some baseball together. 59 out of 250, Purple Chrome for the Guardians. That'll be for Sean Maddock. Some more Wanders. And I wonder, wonder, who, who, who wrote the book of love? Justin, trying to get into a little bit of baseball. What's the deal with the silver packs? That's you are spot on. So, when uh, when Tops released this product, I think they realized either it was. Someone told them, or I think they maybe they might have realized themselves. I don't know the timeline of this, but long story short, there were five cards, super short, were super short prints, just short prints that were not included in here. And that here, I'll drop the checklist for you here, Justin and everybody else. And that was the five cards were the um, box six of case two um, was the extended base short prints set checklist. So those short prints, extended base short prints, were not in there. It was Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals, Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners, Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers, Hunter Green for the Reds, and C.J. Abrams for the Padres. So somehow an error happened. This sort of stuff usually happens on the factory level. So obviously those cards exist. They were printed, but they weren't distributed inside these... Uh, inside these cases. So it's not the perfect way to do it, but we gotta get the short print somehow, right? And remember, not every case we're gonna be guaranteed short prints anyway. So what they did was they printed the silver packs. There's one right here. So these printed these silver packs. I think it's like there's like four cards in each pack or something like that. Maybe, maybe enough for that. Anyway, there were four cards or so per pack, and that's where the short prints reside. And for tops, they told us, hey, you're doing, you're doing a pack per box, whether it's a hobby or a jumbler, you're getting a pack per box. And so that's what we got. So for, for our breaks, 
for the hobbies and the jumbos that we have, we're ripping open one silver pack per box. And uh, yeah, that's how we're doing it. Not ideal, but hey, they made it right as best they could. And now we got to, now once again, we have a chance at the short prints. And take a look at what those Julio Rodriguez short prints are going for out of here. So Michael Losia, who won the uh, won a spot, got randomized the Mariners. He's definitely looking forward to those silver packs. Rex, what's going on? You got your first snowfall this season, and it actually stuck. A couple inches already, several more overnight. Wow. Already. Is this is this early, or what? what, what is it? Is this early for this time of year? It's wet, heavy, power outages as well. There's Anthony Rendon, 148 out of 250. Brent with the Angels. Patrick Wisdom for the Cubs, Jeff Thompson. I, I did hear about that as well. I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't have any additional information on that, but I mean, hopefully they're they're still fulfilling the redemptions as well. That's really early, and the first snowfall never really sticks. There you go. Already, already beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Gilo's already dreading winter and fall. Gilo, you can just just visit Los Angeles. Ryan Jeffers, hang out with us here in LA. Can you work for do you do you work from home, Jalen? So One eighty seven out of two ninety nine. Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. Eric C. And then we got a Kershaw photo negative variation. And it's going to be seventies in the weekend. We're we're getting a little bit of a I think a maybe tomorrow. Next couple days might might get a little bump in. In warmness here in Los Angeles, and then uh, back to cool again. Ah, oh, you're on the hybrid schedule, life. I was gonna say, if you can work from home, you should just just pop out to LA for uh, for the winter and just just work there. This is also the time of the year, Gilo, and over the next month or so, or a few months or so, where uh, where you'll see me complain about how cold it is outside, and you'll look at the Hermosa Beach, California weather, and it'll be like, <laughs> I don't know, it'll be like low 60s, and you'll be like, screw you, man. And that's when I'll convince people, just come and visit. Spend a weekend here. Hang out with us at Jaspies. Ooh, maybe full-time work from home? Does that mean you can kind of work from anywhere from home? Ah, Justin, that'd be cool. Yeah. Carve out some time for us. I'm here Tuesday. I'm here uh, Sunday through Thursday. When do Jason and I overlap? Tuesday through Thursday is our overlap. Or you'll see Jason on the weekend. We'll close on Sundays, remember that. But yeah, we, we welcome everybody to come, uh, to come visit the shop. Hmm. 
Hmm. MLB trade rumors. Who who on MLB trade rumors is suggesting that? Usually they, they cite their source. Yeah, I mean Bellinger could be a good one year option for a lot of people. Maybe if they if they think maybe a change of scenery could help them out. Maybe if uh, you know if they can catch lightning in a bottle. He might not be that bad for whatever arbitration is going to be next year, 18 million. And then go from there. Justin, we are hop, skip, and a jump from LA. You can, you can touch the mighty Pacific. We're very close to the beach. All right, here is Kyle Tucker. That's for John and the Astros, 25 out of 150. They're, they're waiting on that. They're waiting on the uh, Guardians and the Yankees. Got to wait one more day. And Cubs going to sign one of the big four free agent shortstops: Trey Turner, Xander Bogarts, Dansby Swanson, or Carlos Correa. That 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 short there's Trey Turner right there. That shortstop market's going to be pretty interesting. Now, before Carlos Correa signed with the Twins, I think Carlos Correa expected a lot more money than he thought. That never materialized, so that's why he signed that deal with the. Uh, with the twins. There's Ryan McMahon, purple speckle, a little nice little color match for Nestor and the Rockies, 44 out of 299. So that big payday never really materialized. And now, I don't know if that payday materializes this offseason either. There's Alfonso Riva, speaking of the Cubs. It'll be for Jeff. Because, um, I mean, I don't know. Who gets the most money of that group? El Ken, I'm assuming you mean Lewis Hamilton, not Luis Hamilton, right? The F1 driver. Does he really? Is he really a part owner of the Broncos? Those F1 drivers do make a shocking amount of money. Yeah, I don't know if there's been any Cubs color thus far, JT, but. Still have a lot of boxes to go. Still got about a half hour to go. I think it's L E W I S. How much is it? I mean, I don't know. How much has he owned? Uh, it's good to be greedy, Jeff. You never, I mean, I'm sure you've been through some cold streaks in our group breaks. So, so it's good to be greedy, especially when you're thinking a lot of Cubs are popping. Wow. Rex, I'm, I'm pretty sure last season you said the same thing. It's going to be a big off season for the Cubs. You're talking about a lot of free agents there, Rex. You know, how many of those free agents would be like, Yes, I want to go to this rebuilding team. Maybe just overpay guys like, uh, I guess like the Rockies did with Chris Bryant.
And there's an orange auto. That's Freddy Peralta. Orange wave. One out of 25. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Rex is saying just for the Major League offseason in general, not, not necessarily the Cubs. No, yeah, I mean, those big, those big short-sought names, it's going to be pretty big. Jacob DeGrom's a free agent. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. There's, there, I feel like there's some other key free agents out there, too. There's JT Real Muto. Not numbered, but that's for the fight in Phil's. Scott with the Philly. That was a crazy, uh, I think there's some red here. Um, crazy inside the park home run by JT Real Muto. I realized he was fast, but I didn't realize he was that fast. The red wave is for a red team. It's the red legs, Joey Votto. Three out of five red shimmer. We had a red in the other uh, the other case, too. Here's our second one of this doubleheader. Will with the Reds. Where there's a will, there's a way. And out of fives and under. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Frank says, I'm not greedy anymore after the time I traded the Mets summer for the Angels. Then you hit a one of one... <laughs> Gold. Who traded the? That's on the. It's kind of on the other person. <laughs> he was a Mets Homer fan, the same way you're an Angels fan. So that's why he did it. Was this in one of our group breaks, Frank, or somewhere else? I feel bad. <laughs> I'm in. As long as he knew what he was getting into. Ouch. Um, he was trading with his heart, Terry. That's okay. That's okay. It's not always about trading with your wallet, right? Right. Here and here's Zach Thompson, Miami Marlins, Michael. It was a chance we break. And like I say, there's there's no right or wrong way to collect. If the person's a Met super fan. The person's a Met super fan. You know, so. Uh, but yeah, Jeff, we are, uh, we are we are just up the 405 from Long Beach. In fact, I feel like a, um, a few of our guys here at Jaspies reside in Long Beach. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. We're open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 6, and we're closed on Sundays. Yeah, the autos are, are a little difficult to, to, to spot. I don't know if they use more of a, a thinner blue pen. Maybe they could use a slightly thicker one next year. Oh, yeah, so if you know the area, we're, uh, we're right across the street from... Or we're right next door to Vans. You know the Vans store on PCH? across the street from that Hermosa Beach Community Center, across the street from that Vons, CVS, The Habit, Chipotle Center, and right across the street from there. on the Trader Joe's side. Just a little ways up from the windmill. Parking in the back. 
It's just always, always a premium in this neck of the woods, but we got parking in the back, entrance in the back. Come say hi. You can you can local pick up too, Jeff, if you want if you want that option as well. Just hit the support button on our website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can be a local pickup guy and you can uh, you know or you can we can still ma keep mailing it to you as well. But if you're here often, I mean we can kind of save stuff for a couple weeks and pick it up every other week or something like that. <laughs> You'll see my porch in the parking lot, right? I have to sell a lot more Topps Chrome baseball cases, uh, Gilo, before we're uh, before we're making that Porsche money. There's Rodolfo Castro, Brian with the Pirates. Yeah, just contact our uh, our uh, support team. Thing on the website. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. You should see like a, if you're on a mobile device, a little question mark, circle. You'll see it. And then just reach out to us, give us all your name, your information, and let us know you want to be a local pickup, and then you can kind of arrange it from there. There's a Ronald Acuna, 29 out of 50, gold for the Braves, Jose. Joey Votto, nice little variation. For the Reds, a couple nice parallels there for Will. Where there's a Will, there's a way. And there's another Red for Will, Alejo Lopez. Can I pay cash in for for break? Hmm, I don't know, actually. <laughs> you can ask when you come in, 322 out of 499. All right, next box, almost there. Stay on target. We got after this one, we got two more to go, and then we'll do the silver packs, then we'll do the recap, and then um, then I gotta I gotta eat a little bit. I gotta refuel. Feeling a little a little famished at this point. Maybe catch the end of this uh, NFL game. I was really hoping we'd have some baseball. That's a bummer. Mother Nature, come on. Mother Nature doesn't care about baseball. No, true, Rex. That was the old joke. Um, I feel like we can't use the Tesla joke anymore because now that um, now that uh, there's like the the more affordable Tesla, like the thirty thousand dollar Tesla or forty thousand dollar Tesla, uh, there's just a lot more of them on the road. So we'll we ha we have to we had to come up with a different car. Maybe a Porsche, maybe a Polestar. So. This break is a nine inning game. This break, this is kind of a fast baseball game. This could be, this could be like a, one of those Greg Maddox, you know, under 100 pitches, Greg Maddox complete game shutout kind of game. Maybe not a lot of strikeouts either. You know, it's like a, a six strikeout, five strikeout, complete game, sub 100 pitch, Greg Maddox complete game right there. This is the kind of game. Clocks in at probably about two hours. 220 maybe, something like that. 
you know, and then it's the Braves score. It's like a one nothing game. Yeah, that that would, that's how long this break would be. So it's pretty much a baseball game. There's another Alejo Lopez for Will and the Reds. Is that a fumble? That's bobbling around. There's Teoscar Hernandez, Magenta for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Steven. Two ninety nine out of three two ninety nine? Two eighty nine out of three ninety nine. Wild and Avs already missed Miko throwing throwing it down. That uh that King's Wild game was wild. There was Kevin Fiala's return to Minnesota. That was I think Kings won seven six or something. It was like a it was a crazy score. And another red? Yes. Adam Frazier, five out of five. A lot of train whistles in this doubleheader. That'll be for Seattle. That's going to go to Michael Losia. Won that spot. Got randomized. The Mariners gets the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And a redemption, it's Tyler Stevenson, veteran autograph, aqua wave, refractor, parallel. There you go, Will. I don't know if I called your number too often in the first case, but you're getting some, some red legs here in the second case. Maybe a Bugatti. That, I, I feel like that's a little too fancy for me. All right, two boxes to go. You can't celebrate recovering your own five. I'd celebrate. I'd be so happy that I don't have a one next to fumbles in the fumbles lost column. if I'd want a Porsche either. Although people do say they're pretty nice. Mike Tower, so yeah, Gilo, what uh, what is the prop? Mike Tower is wondering what is the proper football etiquette when you recover your own fumble. I would think maybe a bashful shrug, sort of like, you know. You saw a lucid air on the road for the first time the other day. I've never heard of a lucid air. Is that another electric vehicle? Javante Williams, Terry, in the Raiders game a few weeks ago, tore up his uh, tore up his ACL, MCL, and is out for the season. Poor Javante Williams. What would the ja the, the Jackson Mobile be for the company or for myself? I mean, I guess it, I guess it depends on, uh, there's Adam Frazier to 198 to 199. 
And there's Miguel Sanchez. Yeah, if we could have a car powered by uh, Vet Commons, that'd be great. That Alabama game was kind of crazy. Can't believe Tennessee won that one. Oh, a Tesla competitor. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to topple Tesla. I think everyone those companies kind of started a little late. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. At at best, they've started they started a little late and are going to be playing catch up for a long time. At at worst, if you're a cynic like Terry, yeah, you can you can argue that it's just another uh, another pump and dump EV uh, EV company. Either way, it's gonna be tough. There's Hans Krauss purple chrome autograph, one sixty four out of two fifty. That's for the Phillies, Scott, with the Phillies. We made it, last box, and then silver packs. All right, good luck everybody. I guess Elon Musk would be Tesla, right? Because he's running Teslas, and then the Lucid should be is more like Edison. Easy what you say about uh, about Elon Musk, Terry, because he might be listening. <laughs> Rexon ad for an Arby's smoked bourbon, smoked with the same wood used to smoke their meats. Available this Wednesday in select states. Terrible. I don't just go to go to a. I don't know. Just go to a regular barbecue. I mean, it's, it's Gilo. It's it's really no different from any other emerging market, you know, back in the day or any sort of prospecting that you do. Gold mining. There's Alec Bohm, two eighty one out of three fifty. That's for the Phillies. That'll be for Scott. And there's Jackson Reitz for Richard and the Brew Crew. Kevin Gossman, 
13 out of 299. Purple Speckle for the Bluebirds. That'll be for Stephen P. And there's a Trey Auburn J. Purple Speckle autograph for Will and the Reds. There you go, Will. Two twelve out of two ninety-nine. And that, my friends, is that. Silver packs. Silver packs, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's silver pack time in the city, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That makes 12 and 24. One silver pack for each hobby box. All right, so once again, your extended base short prints. Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. Michael Losia has his ears perked. Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. That's another one for Michael Losia. Spencer Torkelson, Tigers. That's going to be Jose with the Tigers. Hunter Green, Reds. Will with the Reds. Reds, Reds finish this break strong. And C.J. Abrams for the, your San Diego Friars. That's going to be for Chris Walker. And the Padres, that's who he's looking for. So, good luck. I'm assuming the Torx and the Wanders probably sell pretty well relative to their other rookie card counterparts. Um, maybe, maybe Torx is maybe not as much, but that's kind of like a wait and see sort of guy. So hopefully he has a strong year next year. But for sure, the Julio Rodriguez is selling pretty well, just right out of the gate right now. Scavenge Sheets, Real Muto. Julio Rodriguez Refractor, extended base short print. Michael Losia with the Mariners. Nice. They're all refractors. I don't know. Well, let's have to find another one to figure it out. All right, another 12 packs. I'm assuming, you know, this is just market forces. I'm assuming that that since the the Mariners were bounced from the playoffs, that, that Julio Rodriguez might have softened just a little bit, but still, it's pretty nice. I would, I would just put it on the slow boat to get graded. Hopefully it comes back as a nice grade. Hang on to it, see if he can, uh, you know, if he, if he has another great season next year, that card might be worth even more. Or you can move it right away. Either way, congrats. Michael, who won that spot in the filler, got lucky enough to get randomized the Mariners and lucky again to find that Julio in the silver packs. All right, another stack of silver packs. Silver packs.
That, my friends, is that. But we did get that Julio Rodriguez. Not too shabby at all. Wow, the last one still went for 985. Just raw. That's pretty awesome. Big thanks, everybody, for getting into this. Double header. That was our last double header. And we had a lot of train whistles, too. A lot of red parallels. More than I've seen in some of the other double headers that we've done. But we don't have any more Topps Chrome Hobby cases for these double header breaks or for anything else. There may be some personal boxes remaining for uh, nice MJ Melendez for on Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks on the IG. So be sure to check that out if you want to get a personal box for yourself. Uh, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, we do have jumbo cases still hanging around. So if you're looking for some jumbo, that's a wander variation. If you're looking for some jumbos, Pick your team jumbos, five autographs a box on the jumbos if you want to get in on that. Another red ray, red auto. Zach Klesak to five. And that Julio Rodriguez that we just got. There you go, boys and girls. Nice, we did it. Two hours, two minutes, and 27 seconds. Pretty nice. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.